Hello, I'm Evandro, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a private connection from Amazon QuickSight to an Amazon Redshift cluster or an Amazon Relational Database Service or Amazon RDS database instance that's in a private subnet. Let's get started. To create a private connection from QuickSight to your data source in a private subnet, you need to provide a subnet and security group from the same virtual private network, or VPC, and AWS region as your data source. First, log in to the AWS Management Console and then navigate to either Amazon Redshift or RDS console. For this demo, I'm using Amazon Redshift. Find the security group that your data sources uses. Note the security group ID. Next, find the VPC that your data sources uses and denote the VPC ID. Finally, check the subnet group that your data source uses. Identify the subnet ID that you want QuickSight to use to connect to your data source. Your QuickSight VPC connection must use at least two subnets. Note the subnet's IDs. Now, open the Amazon VPC console. Create a new security group for QuickSight in the same VPC. In the navigation pane, choose Security Groups. Then, choose Create Security Group. Name your security group and add a description, such as QuickSight SG. On the drop-down menu, select the same VPC as your data source. Next, add the rules to allow traffic between the new QuickSight security group and the security group that your Amazon Redshift cluster or RDS instance uses. First, add an inbound rule to allow traffic from the data source security group. Choose Add Rule. For type, select All TCP. For source, choose Custom and then enter the security group ID of your data source. Now, add an outbound rule to allow traffic to the data source security group. Choose Add Rule. For type, select Custom TCP Rule. For part range, enter the part that your data source uses, such as 5439 for Redshift or 3306 for RDS. For destination, choose Custom and then enter your data source's security group ID again. Finally, choose Create Security Group. Next, add corresponding rules to the data source security group to allow traffic from the new QuickSight security group. In the navigation pane, choose Security Groups. Find the data source security group and view its details. Choose Inbound Rules and Edit Inbound Rules. Add a new custom TCP rule that allows traffic on the appropriate part from the new QuickSight security group. Choose Save Rules. Then, choose Outbound Rules and Edit Outbound Rules. Add a rule to allow all TCP traffic to the QuickSight security group. Choose Save Rules. Now that the security groups are configured, navigate to the QuickSight console to create the VPC connection. At the top of the QuickSight console, choose the profile icon and then choose Manage QuickSight. In the navigation pane, choose Manage VPC Connections. Choose Add VPC Connection. Name the VPC connection and then select the ID of your data source's VPC. Choose the appropriate AWS Identity and Access Management role to use for the VPC connection. Note, review the execution role prerequisites to configure the VPC in the QuickSight console or the QuickSight command line interface. Select at least two of the private subnet IDs that you noted. Choose the security group ID of the QuickSight security group that you created. Then, choose Add. 
It might take a few minutes for the creation of the VPC connection to complete. Finally, use the VPC connection to create a new QuickSight dataset. In the navigation pane of the QuickSight console, choose Datasets and then New Dataset. Select either Redshift or RDS. Follow the remaining prompts to create and visualize your new dataset. For connection type, choose your VPC connection. And now you know how to create a private VPC connection from Amazon QuickSight to an Amazon Redshift cluster or Amazon RDS database instance in a private subnet. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.